here and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing this look, which is pretty bright. It's bold, it's sunsetty, and yeah, that's what I got going on today. So let's just get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm in sensitive skin. I'm going to sniff it first because I love that manly smell. And then I'm going to take a little bit on my hand. Um, the only thing about this is that it's really runny, so it pours out really fast. And um, I oftentimes get way more than I need. Notice I'm keeping my mouth kind of shut this time, because normally I end up doing this, which is not overly attractive. <laughs> I guess what difference does it make? Like, you're, you guys are along for the ride. Um, you see me without makeup. There's not much to hide. It's it's not always pretty, people. It just isn't. That's just life. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Revlon Color Stay, uh, and this is in the color 200 Nude. And what I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a pump. And normally I put it on my hand, but lately I have been using this is the lid to my little um, sponge or brush cleaner offer thing. So I use the inside as a palette. So. I just pour it a bit into the lid, just like that. So about that much. I hadn't used this foundation in a while, and then I used it yesterday, and I really liked it in particular in combo with this primer. It really seemed to stay on longer than it used to. I'm gonna go into this Dirty Works uh, Salmon Colored Concealer and just put that on my dark circles. I just blend it out a bit with the Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to go into Maybelline Master Conceal in Fair and I'm just going to put a little uh, dab on my little palette. Yay! go in with the same concealer brush and as usual blend it out. Now I'm going to put it on all the other places that I want to highlight. Personally I kind of like this look. I don't know why but it just seems kind of fancy. And just a reminder you don't have to do all these steps, absolutely not. Like this is full face makeup that I'm doing. So if you're, you know, like day to day, you certainly don't have to do that. I tend to because I like makeup, but you can omit as many steps as you want. So the reason why you would highlight the way that I did is because it kind of brings all those points out and adds dimension to the face. Then once we get all the powder on and I do my eyes, I go in with darker shades and just kind of increase the intensity uh, and that just adds dimension, which makes a face look more angular, which on the whole makes a face seem more appealing or the eye is drawn to it. It's just all tricks. It's all shadows and smoke and mirrors, but it's, it's what makeup is. So what am I doing now? Ah, oh, primer. I forgot my primer. I'll be right back. So I'm going to go in with the NYX HD uh, eyeshadow, whatever, eyeshadow base. Yeah. Just put that on my eyes. I always take it underneath a bit because we're, well, I always put shadow there. I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Put some in the cap and I just put this right over the whole eyelid that way I get the base kind of set on my eyes as well and I always do this because it seems to help uh, the lines and the fine creasing under my eyes now we're ready for the shadow and I'm gonna pull you in a little bit closer and we'll get started 
So I'm using the Kat Von D Mavita Loca Remix palette. So it's the big one from Christmas, that one. And here's the palette. Oh, I'm gonna go into this first shade called Noble right there. And I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. And the look that I'm doing is the same look that I had in the uh, Mavita Loca um, review. Uh, I don't think I ever did that look, so I thought I would do it because it's actually one of my favorite looks. To start, I'm going to go into this red color right here called Destroyer. And this is just our base that I'm putting down um, so that uh, it just kind of intensifies the eyeshadow. Okay, and I'm basically doing this like um, a slant, so it's kind of like a fan, so I'm putting it kind of in that area. And the key to a look like this as well is that you want to kind of like, I always do this when I'm putting on my shadow, but I want to look straight on and make sure that I kind of get the two as close to the same as possible. So essentially the furthest, or like the furthest in that this comes is right to the beginning of my pupil if I'm looking straight on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this rewind color and I'm going to place that on the red. Okay, now I'm going to go into this color harpsichord, but before I do that, I'm going to use a little bit of this orange analog color and just kind of feather that out from the burgundy shade. And I'm going to take it just a bit above the burgundy. So that's what we have so far. It looks crazy, but I even like it like this. Okay, now I'm going to go into the harpsichord, which is just a kind of a shimmery, shimmery, orangey, bronzy shade. And I'm going to put that over top of harpsichord. That's what we have so far. Now, I am going to take a concealer brush, just one of these and I'm going to go into the color Legend, which is right there. This is just kind of a lemony yellow. It's amazing how as soon as it, you get this on, it just brings the whole look together. Okay, and because I'm kind of doing a fan shape, I'm taking it above my lid today and kind of gonna extend it kind of to it, just so that it gets that arch, like your kind of fan look. So now I've got my colors placed and it looks pretty crazy right now, correct? Yes. Now I'm gonna to start to do some blending. back into that orange and just extend it up because this ends up going up to pretty much my eyebrow just so that I kind of get it even on both sides. So that's our base shades down. It still looks pretty crazy doesn't it? Okay now we're going to go into the shade Vox which is this deep dark luscious brown and I'm gonna place that in here. This is where we kind of begin to add dimension to the eye look. And then I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and I'm just gonna set that on the dark and just kind of blend it in a bit. But I'm not going to uh, like floof it all over the place. I'm just gonna basically keep it put. I'm gonna go back into that lemon color, the legend color, and just kind of blend it into those other shades. And then I'm gonna go back into Rewind, which is that burgundy shade. 
and place that right over top of the brown. Then I'm going to go into the shade Molder. Do that on my brow bone. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use this shade called Skulls. I'm going to take a teeny detail fluffer brush and I'm going to go back into this noble color and I'm just going to put that all down on the lower lash line. So again, I take it down all the way to the kind of the chub part of my eye. Like that. Okay, I'm taking an angled brush and I'm going to go back into the color Rewind, which is that burgundy shade, and do that on the outer portion. I'm going to go into Harpsichord, which is that burnt orange shade, and then back into Legend, the yellow. I'm going to take this little tiny brush, take Legend, and just kind of blend all of them just lightly together. So that's uh, what the lower lash line looks like. So we've got a gradient of the burgundy going into the burnt orange going into the light yellow. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. Now I'm just gonna take my uh, like my Morphe M200, which I kind of just use as a clean blending brush all the time. Eventually I wanna get more of these because I just think it's an amazing brush. I'm just gonna lightly blend and like seriously, I'm holding the brush on the very end and I am just so lightly blending this because I don't, wanna, I, I don't want all the colors to meld into one color. I want you to be able to see orange and burgundy and brown and yellow. I want, I want all the colors to show up. I'm still not quite happy with that color. I just want it to be a little bit more red. Going back into that lemon color and I'm just pulling it onto the orange a bit just to lighten it up a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs uh, gel liner. Okay, so I've kind of done the inner uh, rim uh, and tight lined. Now I'm just gonna take this black, just kind of smashing it into the lash line on the upper. I'm gonna just use this little smudger tool really make sure I get it kind of smud smudged and smoked out. So now I'm going to curl my lashes, put on L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black for mascara, and then I'm gonna put on false lashes. And as usual, they're the Kiss Me Ever Easy uh, lashes in number 11. I'm going in with Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown for me eyebrows. And now I'm going to put mascara on my lower lash line. Now, as per usual, Omega for my contour from MAC. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium. I'm going to use my Too Faced um, Love Flush Blush in Justify My Love. And then I'm going to go into Mary Luminizer by The Balm for my highlight. I'm gonna go into my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and just kind of do this all over the face. Then I'm gonna go into Max Stone and I'm gonna line my lips all over. Now I'm gonna go into my Milani lip liner called Pretty Pink. And then I'm going to go into my Melted Liquefied Lipstick by Too Faced in Peony. I 
Okay, so now I am going to take my hair down, fluff it up a little bit, and then I will show you the whole and complete transformation. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've got my hair done, kind of. Didn't work out quite the way I'd hoped, but uh, such is life. So I have this Mexi, Mexi. <laughs> This Makeup Forever Plexi Gloss, and it is in the shade 202. It's it's just kind of a clear gloss, and it's kind of, I actually, here, I'm just gonna put it on first. So, um, what I find interesting about these Plexi Glosses is that they're very sticky, and normally I don't like sticky glosses at all, but this one I love because it's, it's kind of sticky, but kind of not. Like it's not sticky in an obnoxious way. And what's amazing about the Plexi glosses is they literally last forever on your lips. Like they're phenomenal. So I actually, uh, like I got this as a sample, but eventually I'm gonna actually pick up one because I just think they're amazing. So um, this is the final look. And I guess that's all I have to say about it. I thought it was kind of, bordering on springy, still kind of dramatic. The eyes got a lot darker than what I had anticipated. So it looks more dramatic than what I was intending for this look. Uh, but I actually like, I, I like dramatic, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And that's the way it goes with makeup. Sometimes it works out the way you want it and sometimes not so much. And that's just the way she rolls, man. That's just life. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, all those kind of fun things. And until next time, have a great day.